All right, today we're going to be distinguishing between two types of situations from Unit 6, Lesson 6. Before we get started, there's a little bit of vocab. Do you know what a number used to multiply a variable is called? Like when you see 5x, what's the 5? Or 1 half y, what's the 1 half? It's called a coefficient. A solution, do you know what it means for something to be a solution? That is just the value or values which make the equation true when you substitute those in for the variable. So for example, if I have 2x equals negative 10, x equals negative 5 is the solution because 2 times negative 5 equals negative 10. And we're going to be thinking about equations with and without parentheses in the kinds of situations they describe today. So let's get some examples. Here's two stories. I want you to look at them and I want you to determine how are they alike and how are they different. So story one says, after adding eight students to each of six same size teams, there were 72 students altogether. And story two says, after adding an eight pound box of tennis rackets to a crate with six identical boxes of ping pong battles, the crate weighed 72 pounds. So looking at these two stories, I want you to think about what do they have in common, but what is different about them? All right, I hope you noticed that they have the same numbers. There's eight, eight being added, there's six groups, there's 72 altogether. But the main difference is in story one, eight students are added to each of the teams, but in story two, an eight pound is only added one time. So thinking about this, we're gonna look at some diagrams and I want you to think about which one matches each situation. So here's the two diagrams. One goes with each of the stories. So how are these diagrams alike and how are they different? Again, you're probably gonna notice they all have like six X's. They have eights in them. They have a total of 72. But the first one, there's eight added every single time, and the second one, there's only an eight added once. So I want you to try to match which one goes with each scenario that we did in the last, so of these two stories. So which one matches? Okay. Hopefully you noticed the team one goes with the top because eight are added in each of those six teams, and the ping pong situation goes with the bottom because the eight is only being added once. Okay, now we're gonna look at an equations. Again, I want you to think, how are these equations alike? And how are they different? Okay, so they go with the same scenarios. They look very, very similar, but you're gonna notice there is a parentheses in the first equation, but not in the second one. So in the first one, six is multiplied by that entire thing, x plus eight, and the second one, six is only multiplying x. So six is the coefficient of the x. Um, and we are going to, again, match which one goes to which. So again, the team one it goes with the parentheses because those are eight in each of those groups. And the second one is the ping pong situation. All right, so just some, highlighting some of these key scenarios. Firstly, they both had a total of 72. There were six equal groups. They in the team situation, eight were added to each group, but in the ping pong problem, there was just one additional eight pound box. It's gonna be key that you notice that when they're added to each group, we needed those in parentheses because six gets multiplied that is that entire thing, both the original X and the eight. In the second one, the eight is not getting multiplied by the six, so the eight does not go in parentheses. Are you able to take a tape diagram or a situation and represent it with equations?